Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to launch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge game on your Windows computer and if you are receiving this error that is win64shipping.dl error then please follow the steps shown in this video. First step is to copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Scroll down. Here you can see x86 and x64 version. Download both the exe file. So click on x86 then click on x64 and once the download is complete run both the exe file click on agree and then click on install so if you see the install option click on install you might see the repair option so if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow run the second file as well again if you see the install option click on install if you see the repair option click on repair click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation is complete now once both the installation is complete you will see the restart option so click on restart so click on restart to to restart your computer if you don't see the restart option over here restart from here and after the system restart launch the game and this should go ahead and fix the error message. Installing Visual C++ file has fixed the error message for me. Next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. On NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. So make sure that you select the right graphic card. So select your graphic card over here. In my case, I have selected my graphic card. You select your graphic card and then select the right operating system from here. In my case, it's Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11, then click on start search. Now, once you click on start search, scroll down. The top one is generally GeForce game ready driver. Right now, it is showing NVIDIA Studio driver. So I will download GeForce game ready driver. This is the latest one. So on the top, you might see GeForce game ready driver. So download the latest version. So click on get download. And then once the download is complete, run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And then click on OK. And let the process complete. Now click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom and then click on next. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. Now after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you're running the game on dedicated graphic card. For this type in graphic settings and then click on graphic settings click on browse now go to the game installation folder steam users if your game is installed in c drive open c drive then open program files x86 now open steam folder now open steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case it's indeed drive e drive so open steam then steam apps then open common then open the tmnt folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add now once the game is added click on options select high performance then click on save again click on browse select the launcher click on add options high performance save and then launch the game now if you if you have installed the game from xbox game pass then select microsoft store app then select the game over here and then click on add and once this is added click on options high performance then click on save now launch the game next step is to verify the game file for steam users for the go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game for xbox game pass user select the game over here make a right click then click on manage then go to files then click on verify and repair and after the verification launch the game so one of the steps should help you to get rid of this error 
सो दैल बी ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम एंड प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल